Hello everyone, and just to establish this is Tara Skelton chilling in the background. And today we are going to be doing our makeup collection video. This might seem like a really big collection to you, this might seem really tiny, whatever. It's enough for us and we've been collecting it for quite a few years now. Not all the makeup has been sitting there for that many years. <laughs> Some of us knew. Um, so we thought we'd take you around and show you how we store it and maybe go through a couple of the bits that we have in there. And we're gonna start with my makeup collection because it's better. No, it's Mine's better. Mine's better. Let's go to Ellen's bedroom. <laughs> Okay, so this is my little makeup corner of my bedroom. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of stuff up here. And I also use this top drawer of my dresser. So we're gonna start off in here. Okay, so I use all these little plastic dividers to sort of keep my makeup all tidy in here. Starting off on this side, I keep all my powders, bronzers, and blushes. Things to note in here are my Milani brushes. They're amazing. And my favorite bronzer of the moment is this Natio one here. Next to that I have all of my individual eyeshadows, so I've got various ones in here, I've got some Maybelline color tattoos, I've got a Bobbi Brown one in here, and then I also have a whole bunch of just drugstore little quads. Next to that I have more palettes, these are my bigger ones, I have a MAC one, a NARS one, my favorite sleek one, and some little Revlon eyeshadows that all click together, my Kevin Aquan, and then the star of the hour, this beautiful YSL palette. Can we just appreciate that for a moment? That was a gift from our blogger friend Leonie. Along the back I just have miscellaneous items, so face masks, my inhaler because that's cool, and deodorant, all that jazz. Moving along I have my skincare over here. This tub at the back is kind of like overflowing with bits and pieces like my sunblock and my scrub and like little samples. And then this longer basket I have towards the side is my more regular skincare, so we will link our skincare video down below if you want to hear more about all of that. And next to that are my fake eyelashes, although I don't wear them that much, I have a whole container de designated to them. And then at the front I just have a whole bunch of eyeliners and eyeshadow sticks and also my trusty e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Uh, that's pretty much it folks. No, just kidding, there's the whole top half. So I think the most obvious thing here is my brush holder and we have a DIY video if you want to learn how to make this so I'll link that down below. So on top of my little chest of drawers I have this vintage silver tray that I thrifted and on here I've got my face wash and my bioderma and a container with cotton wool in it and some bobby pins and jewellery that just sort of chills out there. And then behind that I just have a vintage jewellery box that was my nan's which on top has my mirror. Next to that I have a container full of BB greens and bases and concealers. And if you want to hear pretty much about all of these, they're probably all mentioned in our BB cream video, so I will link that down below as well. I also have this vintage little box here that has little hair ties and, ew, gross, some hair hanging out of it. Moving on! It's a tough life in New Zealand, there's not much makeup storage out there, but these are from the storage box and they're little acrylic containers. And so I just have this separate one here and then a set of drawers. And up here is all the lipsticks that I use regularly, um, Kate Moss 107, this new Estee Lauder one which I love, and then over here we have a little tower with um, lip balms and lip scrubs, and then lined up alongside are my favourite Antipodes lipsticks because I like to keep the family together. And then in this little drawer here I have all my mascaras and eyebrow mascara things. Um, a few of those I haven't opened yet though so that's kind of why I have so many. Then we have some randoms chilling out on the side which are just there because they look pretty. And in this drawer we have all of my Valor lips because again, I like to keep my families together. And then we have a lip gloss drawer which has glosses and balms. And then the next drawer down here is miscellaneous lip lipsticks I guess you could say. I still wear them all, love them equally but they haven't been promoted to the top deck yet. And ones to talk about in here will probably be the Jordana lipsticks. They're amazing, they're so cheap, and these are all the matte versions, and I really like them. And then this last drawer doesn't really get much attention. It's full of primers, and usually I just forget to prime my face. And then I've also got two liquid highlighters on the end. Um, this one here from Designer Brands, and it's meant to be a dupe for the Benefit liquid highlighter, and it's quite pretty. So that's pretty much my makeup collection. Let's move on to Tara's. So welcome to my makeup collection. Mine is all here, what you can see. So I have two acrylic drawer things and then some individual acrylic boxes to hold all my makeup. So I guess we could start here. So I have all my lipsticks that I use regularly all in this bit here 
and if I don't use them regularly enough they get demoted to a box down here and mine are organized kind of by brands but also by lightest to darkest so I always know if I want to wear a really light colored lipstick it'll be on this side as you can see I like the Kate Moss Rimmel matte lipsticks there's a whole row dedicated to those in the back behind the lipsticks I've got my eyelash curler which is an everyday must for me so it's got pride of place right there over here I've got some lip liners and then this is kind of like the random bit where I've got a couple of concealers some eyebrow stuff it's there and I've got some palettes and some individual eyeshadows that I'm either using or I really like so they're just sitting there so in this drawer here I've just got some liquid lipsticks and lip pencils and things and this drawer here is my backups so I've got eyelashes but I've also got backup um, Jordana lip liners and a backup from all 107 because you know you don't want to run out of that the next drawer down is my bronzers and highlighters so the most used would probably be my new Mary Luminizer highlighter. Um, the Hoola bronzer gets a lot of love as well, so that's what's in there. The next drawer down is my blushes. This used to have like two blushes in it and now I've got a full drawer. So <laughs> the newest one is the e.l.f. bronzing and contouring blush kit thing. And my favourite blush is probably this Milani one which is in the colour Luminous which Ellen got me. So these are actually two drawer units blue tacked together on top of each other. <laughs> Classy! We because we don't get Muji ones they don't fit nicely together so I've just blue tacked them. But this drawer here is all my eye pencils and eyeliners and stuff. I think the star of the show is definitely the Bio Terry on Bare Black Star and Misty Rock. Um, crack that out on special occasions. This is another miscellaneous drawer. It's got a couple of um, pencil sharpeners and it's also got replacement pads for my eyelash trailer. The next drawer is the eye products kind of one so on this side I've got mascaras, on this side I've got liquid eyeliners and I've also got like a MAC paint pot which is my eyeshadow base in there because that's just where I put it. And in the final drawer this is the powders one but it also has my Tanya Burr lashes because I couldn't fit them anywhere else. This is a new addition to this drawer, new bourgeois healthy balance powder and so I've been enjoying that. What is this? This is an empty concealer thing <laughs> by Bobbi Brown in case they ever want to get another one so I know which colour I was. So I also have my brushes just here. I think we've done a video about brush storage so we'll link that. Um, but on this side of the drawers there is my Naked palette. So this is pretty much the only big palette that I use. I had other ones but they were just crap. Um, <laughs> oh! Shots fired! <laughs> so yeah, I use this a lot. It's quite dirty but that shows it's really loved. Um, so that just lives kind of squeezed in there. Um, on top here I've got all my bases and most of my concealers. My most used is probably the Maybelline Dream Pearl BB Cream. I was wearing the Clinique quite a lot but for some reason I've gone back to this. Maybe because it makes me look more tan <laughs> so I'm not so ghostly. Um, I've got a few collection concealers and stuff so it's pretty much there. Um, probably not gonna go through these. I've got some uh, eyelashes here some rejected lip products that I don't wear very often and this is kind of just the random products that I don't use often so they're kind of just there. So yeah, there's nothing like a makeup collection video to make you realise I have a ridiculous amount of makeup. And that's the end of our makeup collection video, we hope you guys liked it. Subscribe for more videos and give this one a thumbs up if you liked it and we will see you next week. Bye! Oh no, his foot fell off! really weird seeing the back of my head. Oh no, I didn't straighten it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why did I just waste all that? Probably the Maybelline. <laughs> You're ruining my video right now. I want it to be the Ellen show. Lipstick. <laughs> <laughs>